you know you gotta always fluff out the hair before you start the video <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Shari J, and I'm here to do a favorites video. Now, I haven't done a favorites video since July, but I always plan on doing one and just never get to it. So, today I was like, you know what, I'm going to film a favorites video today, and here I am doing just that. So, I only have a couple hair products to talk about today, so I'm just going to start with that. And the first one is Carol's Daughter Manoy Repairing Hair Mask. And I'm pretty sure I talked about this in... A previous video but ever since I got my hair color I have been like making sure I deep condition on a regular basis and I usually deep condition every seven days once a week but I have been hmm, I'll say I've been deep conditioning about every five days now and I've been loving this deep conditioner ever since I ran out of the thank god I'm naturals honey hair mask which you guys know I love and talk about all the time so I had about two and a half jars of this in my pantry my hair pantry and i'm gonna like show you guys that in another video but i just started going through these like like crazy and i realized that i was using too much deep conditioner because i started finger detangling my hair like i don't know i want to say a month after the do you want to sit on my lap because you can't make noise This dog, I swear. Anyway, this is like my third time trying to make this video. I've taken him out and he just keeps making noise. So, <sighs> bear with me. But anyway, um, yeah, I have been just going through these and I think it's because I've been trying to finger detangle my hair ever since like a month after um, the first uh, the salon experience video. So, anywho, um, in order to stop running through all of my deep conditioners, I've been using the curls coconut carlata conditioner and this has helped a lot like basically to use this first and then use my deep conditioner in my hair and this like really melts away all the tangles and I believe you can get this product at Target I'm not exactly sure they sent me this over the summer and I just started using it like this month so well in October so <laughs> yeah check this out if you need something to help you finger to tangle with you don't need a lot of this product and it really does a really good job and let's get to some beauty products shall we so the first beauty product I'm going to talk about is actually a nail polish and I only use this on one hand because I hate polishing my nails they only last about three days and then I'm always in my hair or I'm always cooking or something and I swear my nails just look like a mess like after three days so I hate wearing nail polish but I've been trying to get more into it, but this is my favorite so far this month or last month. It's the American Apparels Nail Lacquer, and this is in the color Lopez Canyon. And I like this because it looks just like the the pumpkin color. I mean, look at this. This is a candle I got from Bath and Body Works, but it's literally the same color. Like I absolutely love this nail polish. And again, it doesn't last long at all. Like maybe last three days if I'm lucky. Um, and I don't know. I'm thinking about getting gel nails. I haven't yet done that. I know they now have the Sally Hansen gel without the light thing. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and get that and see how it works. But I can't stand this nail situation. Like it gets on my nerves so, so bad. And another beauty product that I'm going to talk about is also from American Apparel. Where is it? Where is it? It's these lip gloss. And this is in the color Micro Mesh, and I have this on my lips right now. I'm usually like a dark purple lip girl in the fall. Like, I just love dark lips in the fall, and purple is like my favorite color to go to. But I just saw this color and wanted to like think outside the box and get outside of my comfort zone. And I got this color instead. And he is chewing on my gym shoe. Would you stop, Ronnie? So, anywho, I feel like ever since I got my hair dyed, I just wanted to continue to step outside of my comfort zone. And, yeah, that lip color is everything, and I've been wearing it in so many different pictures, and I just love this color. And a similar color that I've been loving that I also have on my lips is this, I think this is raspberry chocolate. Chocolate raspberry. And this is actually darker than the American Apparel Micro Mesh, but... It's still in that hot pinkish family. And I love this color. I have it on my lips as well. I have this on as the base and this as like the gloss. 
This is from Fashion Fair Cosmetics and I got a lot of stuff from them. I don't know if I ever mentioned that before but they sent me a lot of stuff in the summer and a lot of stuff in the fall. And this is just one of the prettiest colors. Another color that you guys liked is, I think it's Rage. I put that on in um, another video. Mine, you guys absolutely loved it. So yeah, I'm going to do a blog post on all the stuff they sent me because I just haven't yet talked about it. But I've been using it more and more. So I'll make a blog post about that and let you guys know. So the next thing I want to talk about are a couple candles. I'm actually going to do an entire video on my favorite fall candles because I have a few to talk about. But I want to talk about um, one that is like my holy grail staple for fall and that I've been like literally loving till the fact it's almost gone. And a new one that I just picked up this October or last October. And this is by Patty Wax and this is the Tamarind in Orange. And I heard a couple people on YouTube talk about this because I had never actually like heard about it or saw it before. And I went to Urban Outfitters early October and I saw this and I was like, oh, these are the candles that people on YouTube talk about. Pick this one up again. It's tamarind and orange, and it smells absolutely amazing. Now I just got this in like literally early October, and it's not even all the way gone. And I burn this like it like it literally every single day. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say, but yeah, I burn this all the time, and it's just like halfway gone. Like I can't even believe it. Um, it's slow burning. It smells good. It fills the entire room. Like literally, this is hands down one of my favorite freaking candles right now although this one was $24 for Urban Outfitters I went on the site once I got back and burned this and realized that I loved it and I realized they were $19 online so I don't know why Urban Outfitters want to jack up the price but I think the next time I get them I'm just going to buy like four and just buy them online and smell them in Urban Outfitters and buy them online because it's just not I don't know why they want to jack up the price what is that all about Urban? Come on! And another one of my holy grail fall favorite candles is leaves. Who doesn't love leaves? Oh, it smells so good. I only have a little bit left and I only buy these candles from Bath & Body Works when they have the 2 for 22 deal. Because why buy this for regular price at $22.50 when you can buy 2 for 22 bucks? Like it just doesn't make sense. And they always go on sale. I want to say like every other week or whatever they have that deal going on. So don't ever buy these at full price. You like as soon as you buy them, the next day they're gonna be on sale. And you're gonna be mad. So just wait and save your money. So my last favorite today are these noise canceling headphones by Bose. And these are the acoustic noise canceling headphones. And I got these from Target. And they were originally $300, but they were on sale for $268. And I don't usually, like, buy any really expensive headphones, but I was spoiled. I got a pair of Sony headphones. I don't even remember what they were called. I'll put, like, a screen cap. And they were sent to me by Clout. And I loved them. They last for about two years. And then they broke just randomly one day. And I was just like, oh, Because I just got so accustomed to, like, really amazing headphones. It came in its own case and like everything and it was just, it blew my mind. So I knew I wanted to get another pair of like, I don't want to say luxury headphones, but just a, a really good quality pair of headphones and I got these and they are completely noise canceling. I was on the airport and they weren't any screaming babies, but it was just a really loud talker right behind me and I was so tired I wanted to go to sleep. Put these bad boys on. Like literally didn't hear nothing. Didn't hear like the people coming down the aisle trying to give you pop. Like I had to keep looking up like are they here yet? Are they here yet? Because I wanted something to drink. But yeah you can't hear anything with these headphones. They are so awesome. So comfortable. They come with this really great case. And I never like maybe I'm just not fancy enough. I don't know. But I never had a headphones or anything come with cards. Like it comes with a freaking courtesy card a couple of them like if somebody asks you where you got your headphones from like oh whip out the card and it says on here customers tell us they're often asked about their Bose quiet comfort 15 headphones for your convenience this courtesy card is yours to pass along like what I just thought that was crazy and I like showed my boyfriend Derek and he was just like 
I've had stuff that comes with courtesy cards before. So yeah, maybe I'm just not fancy, but that was the first time for me. So this is the box, <laughs> just in case you want to see what it looks like. Not sponsored, I just really love these headphones and I think you will too. And the only thing I don't like about it is that you have to have a battery. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's this little switch and you, you turn them on and the green light comes on. You have to have a battery, which sucks because if you were like out somewhere and you don't have any batteries and your headphones die, that's it. Like you can't listen to making a mess. You can't listen to anything or you know, that kind of blows, but all I would do is just keep a couple batteries in the case just in case you actually carry the case and that way you don't have to worry about it but yeah you just turn on the switch a green light comes on don't even know if you guys can see that a green light comes on and you're good so last thing i want to talk to you guys about today is a website called a paint outpost it's a website where you take surveys about new products food or movies and earn cash for it as you guys know it's now november and the holiday season is upon us so it's a great way to earn cash for some gifts or if you don't want cash you can also gift someone with an itunes gift cards or amazon.com gift card which is also another thing that you can get in turn for filling out your surveys so i will leave a link down below where you can sign up it's completely free to sign up and hundreds of thousands of people have already signed up for this and love it so you make sure you check it out i know i already have so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video again i will have links down below to everything that i've talked about make sure you sign up for opinionoutpost.com and on that note i will talk to you guys later bye